Hello and welcome to Calagram Market, our daily program on Nifty Bank, Nifty and USD. And our spectacular week for us, whoever has been watching this program for a while, a very happy day for me also. Um, uh, on multiple fronts, one of course, uh, one somebody in my family was long, uh, 18,400 pay Nifty futures. Yesterday it was around 8,200. He called me and said, boss, what I was like, boss, hold it in life. I was very scared of saying this because, you know, it was also... I was also thinking there's a very high likelihood that this thing will uh, go up. Okay, I think on the corner of the screen you can see something fun happening. <laughs> so, <laughs> but uh, so anyway, so and if if you are watching this, please look at the right bottom corner of the screen towards the floor on on towards this side on the corner like this corner. You are going to see something fun very soon. Uh, so Aman is asking, am I at home? Yeah, I've always been home. Sensible is a fully remote con company, uh, which is, uh, we've always been working from home, right? Nobody has seen office in like, oh, there comes <laughs> on the top of the bottom right corner. You're right here. Yeah, right there. So, so uh, Ajay is saying 90k loss. I'm sorry to hear that, Ajay, but then, you know, profit and loss is part of the game. I'm sure you'll make it all back again. So, um, so good expiry. The breakout finally looks like it is happening. Um, <laughs> is taking the dog. <laughs> Sorry, people want to kidnap the dog. So, uh, in interesting stuff. Uh, so, um, uh, yeah, sensible also completes around five years, somewhere around this time. Uh, I think we started somewhere in. I mean, it's very diffused somewhere in September, October, November of 2017, we started. The official founding date, of course, is December. So um, uh, we uh, realized that it's been five years since we were running. I think October is when we wrote our first line of code. November is when we were three people. Uh, we used to work mostly in Balaji's house. Uh, uh, fun stuff it was. So now we have completed five years. We are now roughly 35, 40 people. Uh, all of them remote. Nobody's uh, asked to come home. So it's pretty nice. And uh, so, yeah, that's that. Uh, and uh, uh, so let's get to analysis, right? So the first thing, Nifty. So let's look at what have we been saying all these days. If you look at this, right, we've all been saying that if you have a bullish bias, which I had, uh, I was saying that it's better to wait for um, a, a clean direction. Um, it's better to wait for some support to form. But if you have a bullish bias, you can do bull call spreads on dip was our verdict. Also, day before yesterday, we had said that favoring bull spreads will break out and bull call spread calls futures out to break out. Uh, we had talked about iron condor, but yesterday we day before yesterday, we immediately said that it's better to take out the call leg, which also worked out well. But otherwise, for a long time, we were saying that ideally don't trade will you find a breakout. But if you want to trade and share my bias of breakout, you can take long term december first week of bull call spreads right and this is working very well right if you took december first week of uh, uh, bull call spreads it will work uh, pretty well uh, it would have worked out pretty well you might have been on profits uh, uh, dataji is asking why is there no IR, IVR, IVP? it's all coming we are bringing a massively upgraded charting soon uh, suit sometime in december you'll see straddle charts strangle charts uh, fin nifty uh, intraday charts of so many things. You will see IVR, IVP, HV, IV, and we just thought, okay, let's just you know do everything together. So that's happening on the Friday. So today's Nifty graph, if you look at it, uh, it kind of finally played out to the breakout. This channel is broken. Nifty is closed at all-time high, right? Today is the all-time high. If I'm not mistaken, no, no not all-time high. Uh, pretty close to the all-time high. It has broken the recent swing high. Maribozu strong candle with decent volumes and there's a very high chance that this will break out. Finance is asking, are you in office? No, I have not seen my office in two years. I'm at home. So, uh, so then, um, uh, so now this is a, this looks like a breakout, right? <clears throat> Let's look at Bank Nifty. We talked about Bank Nifty. This middle of the channel is holding. It's closed at all time high. We were also saying yesterday that as long as something is in all time high, it will continue to be in all time high. Therefore, don't short it. Both of them worked out really well. Um, we didn't really have a view on USDNR. We thought that if this uh, uh, red line holds, it can go up. But seems like you know it's very mixed signals. Today, it must have fallen around 0.3%. But tough to trade something which has really gone into this kind of territory. Right. 
So let's write out everything. Bank Nifty, uh, sorry, Nifty looks like breakout. Bullish. Bank Nifty. Um, I mean, I won't be surprised at all time high and it will continue being in all time high. 40, I won't be surprised if it goes to 43,800 or something. I will not be surprised at all. 45,000, 44,000 is also possible. 44,000. Um, uh, ATH and looking more bullish. Um, expect momentum to be on upside. Right? And let's look at option chain. Option chain is telling the same story today. Everything is clean today, actually. Um, bullish, bullish, bullish. Three put additions. Uh, and if you look at the total number, call is 21 million, put is 33 million, very cleanly bullish. Uh, if you look at the overall option chain, 8300, 8400, huge supports, 500 has some nominal resistance, highly likely to break. PCR is 1.3, again, super strong. So option chain, massive put selling, bullish. 18400 is clearly becoming a support. PCR 1.3. Bullish. Uh, it's day one. It's early to say, but I have to say these are significant volumes. On day one itself, it's putting 21, 30 million. It's not bad at all. Uh, this is a significant support we are seeing at 18300, around uh, 7 million puts already, which is, uh, sorry, this is, sorry, this is. Uh, um, 1st December, so 7 million puts already, which is pretty strong. 18,300 is a strong support, 18,400 is a strong support, 1.3 that is strong. Uh, all around it is looking very, very strong. Finally, FI data, they have also joined the party. Now there are more calls than puts. Uh, they sold 1 lakh calls and sold 1 lakh puts, net net more bullish. Uh, 3,000 crore futures bought bullish, 1,000 crore stocks bought bullish, right? So more calls than puts bought bullish uh, 3000 cr very bullish 1000 cr by bullish so basically andadun by right so wording <laughs> looks like nifty is uh, bullish stay long and see where the <coughs> market will take you. <coughs> this is it, right? And trades are obviously calls, buy calls, bull call spreads, uh, futures long with tight SL. I won't be surprised if Nifty breaks its all time high also in the current move. So I I'll tell you an interesting thing, right? If you did not have a position yesterday on the short side, right? <laughs> Animesh is saying, subscribe for the Shih Tzu. I, I'll show you more interesting things from him in the days to come in this thing. Wayne is now calling it bull cartel. Uh, Anil is asking, backtesting possible. Uh, we'll be doing something on that front very soon, but if scheme will tell the problem. Will um, uh, took a call spread at 18400 levels. Very nice, Alan. Uh, so, uh, now, here's an interesting thing, right? Because we are close to expiry, we'll also look at what the weekly candle is looking like. And I'm pretty sure what it's looking like. Weekly candle is a bear, bullish engulfing. This is very important. Look at Nifty weekly candle, bullish in, engulfing. Look at Ni Bang Nifty candle, strong Marubozu. So, I'll just write that down also. Bullish engulfing candle on weekly. Right. So basically, if you did not have a short position today, you could have easily been long uh, uh, today. Right. In the sense that, yes, if you were trapped at 18,200, then you would have thought, Kiar, how can you stop out of 18,300? How can I stop out of 18,400, etc., etc. Right. But if you were having no position today, today's price action, you could have been long at 18,300. And then um, uh, you could have been riding. See, or let me thoda put philosophy, right? It's it's like <laughs> I, I give this example a lot. It's like dating. See, if you're 
with the wrong person, you won't know when the right person comes along. It's a one on one rule of dating, right? Much similar to that. If you're stuck in a wrong trade, you won't see the right trade when it comes along, which is why it is important. So I, I tell most people, right? Keep boss, if you really want to find a reasonably fulfilling relationship in life, the best thing to do is be single, be happy being single, and then something will happen. Trading is a lot like that, right? If you're always compulsively uh, trying to get into some trade or the other, but if you're always saying, Ki, boss, agar trade nahi hai, mere ko nahi chahiye, I'm happy without a trade. I'm very happy to not take a trade. I just want to, you know, be uh, uh, content with what I have. Then what will happen is you have bandwidth, you have money, you have mental peace, you have capital saved. Suddenly a great opportunity comes, you can be long, right? And you're not stuck in a trade without knowing. Now, if uh, two, three days back, I mean, I, I had a bias, I agree. So I was anyway long at 18200. But if you did not have that bias, the best thing to do instead of shorting was you could have just had nothing. And today when the price action started, you could have clearly, um, sorry, what's happening? Some people are saying it's not visible clearly. What is not visible clearly? I'm on full definition streaming. My face is not clear or the chart is clear, right? See, as long as the Excel is clear, how does it matter, right? Um, let me just try to stop sharing. How is it looking? Is the camera better? Ah, okay. Okay. Blurry screen could be a bandwidth issue, but I don't think it's at my end. So what I was saying is if you don't have a trade, if you're keeping trade book Kali, a great trade comes, a great moment comes, you can just ride that moment and make the trend, right? But if you are having a short trade, right? The problem is, um, uh, you will be stuck in the wrong thing. And then suddenly you're wondering, Ki, yaar, isse mein should I, you know, uh, get out or not? Should I hold on to this or not? Uh, what should I do? What will I do? When do I get out? Etc. 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 Right? And you're just your capital is getting consumed in that. Your mental effort is consumed in that. Up, abhi bhi soch rahe ki boss, ye jo main galat trade mein fasa, wahan se main kaise niklunga? Jabki everybody else is thinking, yar side trade dikh raha hai. I'm getting to, onto the side trade, right? Everybody is getting onto the good trade, and still you're wondering when do I get out of the wrong trade, right? It's a lot, I mean, whether it's a relationship or a job or a project you're pursuing, right? So many people chase dead-end projects in life, dead-end missions in life, things that go, don't go anywhere. But if you just think back, I am so obsessed with this tunnel vision on doing this thing right. Boss, just get out of that thing and look around yourself. You'll see so many other good opportunities, right? So similarly in trading, if you don't have a position, you will see great positions, great trades when it comes along. And anybody did not have a trade in the last three, four trades when it was going nowhere, they could have just, you know, sat on the sidelines. Today moment came and then, um, you know, the breakout happens. Uh, read comments and then give me. Harsh, which comment here? Pata do. I'll read the comment. Harsh is saying there's a huge difference between total OH and FI. Ah, yes, 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 yes. Harsh, that's a beautiful question. Right. Uh, thank you for that uh, question. So I'll just explain what Harsh is trying to say here. Mm. So if you look at FII index OI and index OI change, it won't tally, right? Because there is something happening there. So I, I'll tell you what, it's, it's a little complex, right? Because this is very weird. The number you see here, right? 3226 floor FII index log is a number that comes directly from the exchange. The problem is, this number should be ideally long OI in crores minus short OI in crores. But what exchange does is they just do long OI in crores plus short OI in crores and they give you one single number of FI. So that doesn't make sense and this number is extremely misleading which is why. But because it was there, because people want it, exchange gives it, we thought we'll just put it there. The real number to look at is this column, which is uh, FI OI. Now even in this, the FI, if you look at this, uh, ideally, this should be around 16k change between yesterday and today in terms of quantity, right? So this is in quantity, uh, this is in crores, right? So the problem with this number is that even if you do 88 minus 62, it won't tally with yesterday. Uh, honest answer, I don't know why. I have asked several people in the exchange and broking system. Nobody knows why. It's crazy. But um, long story short, right? Oh, shit. Sorry, 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 sorry. Sorry. Sorry, sorry, I should have shared the screen. So, sorry, I'll take that back. Sorry, sorry. Uh, let me just uh, look at this thing. So, if you look at this FI DI data column, uh, this is uh, 3 to 2, 6 crores. This is in 
this is fis oi exchange explain by the uh, uh, exchange in crores the problem is they just do long index oi in crores plus short index oi in crores which doesn't make sense they should do fii long index in crores minus fii short index in crores but anyway they are just doing this and we are just stuck with this everybody shows this everybody asks for this we thought we'll just show it right but exchange doesn't do a minus b it does a plus b so we are just stuck now the problem is so this is useless but this is useful because we derive this number which is a minus b this is fii index future oi quantity long minus fii index future oi quantity short so this is a useful number this actually tells you how is the oi going in fact i'll tell you something more interesting if you look at oi right if i had negative oi till 25th october now they have positive oi which generally tells you what it tells you and uh, interestingly even if you do this 88k minus 62k it won't match with the index oi change uh, given by uh, uh, exchange right uh, but nobody knows why it doesn't exactly tally but i'll tell you one thing for sure this number is pretty reliable so if this oi increases fis are bullish if they if this oi decreases then fis are bearish right so the only thing you have to look at is if this number goes up from 62 to 83 88 it went up fis are bullish 59 to 62 it went up they are bullish 43 to 59 went up bullish 52 to 43 this is bearish so basically look at the day on day change we'll introduce a new column also which uh, shows you the change uh, right so that's that so yeah, that is the end of our episode uh, today. Please share screen. Yeah, cut the air, Anupam. You can see the screen. So this is our analysis for today. Rahul is asking how long will the offer continue? I I think it will continue till uh, beginning of next week. Uh, uh, but even if you miss that day, just send us a, an email. We are very happy to extend it even after the deadline. Uh, so anyway, that uh, continues concludes our show for to, today. We'll show you see you again on Sunday. As usual, no tips, no advice, no recommendations. This is analysis so that you can also bring in the same thinking process. The most important thing is not about getting the direction right. The most important thing is, of course, risk management, bet sizing, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Siren is asking SGX for sure. We'll show you SGX. Oh my god. Okay, I didn't know this. 18638. Super interesting, but that was kind of you know coming given the price action we saw today. Okay, so tomorrow looks like it's a 200 point gap up whoever is long uh, party party right so <clears throat> so we'll see you again um no no i'm reading the comments and laughing here it's genuinely funny <laughs> Biru, oh my god why are you talking like this uh, so uh Biru, if you want a hindi program right um you can go to uh youtube uh you can look at um uh, sensible Hindi, right? And in Sensible Hindi channel, you can see, you know, 20, 23,000 subscribers, 100 videos. Sagar does it every day. Please subscribe to this channel of Sagar and get your Hindi analysis, right? That's a de dedicated uh, Hindi channel. Well, anyway, so that concludes our show today. We'll see you again tomorrow. As usual, please take care, guys, and keep your capital safe. Bye.